Today I will be talking about the Lyrid Meteor Shower. Our universe is full of cosmic wonder and beauty that we can only view a fraction of the celestial phenomena with the naked eye. Meteor showers are natural fireworks that streak across our night sky. The latest meteor shower that we can observe will be the Lyrids. They have been active since April 14th and will conclude on April 29th. They will reach their peak on April 21st to the 22nd, or Sunday night into Monday morning. They can best be visible from the Northern Hemisphere. The Lyrids are caused by dusty debris from the comet that is named Thatcher, and they spring from the Lyra constellation, hence its name. This year viewers may find it difficult to view them because the moon will nearly be at its fullest point. Meteor showers are caused by the Earth passing through the trailing rubble of a comet or asteroid as it swings around the sun. This debris, which can be as small as a grain of sand, is known to leave behind a glowing stream of light as it burns up in our atmosphere. Meteor showers generally occur around the same time each year and can last for several days or weeks. There is a very small window when each shower will peak. This happens when the Earth reaches the very densest part of the cosmic debris. When it is at the peak is the best time to watch for a meteor shower. From our point of view here on Earth, the meteors appear to come from the same point in our sky. The Perseid meteor shower, for example, peaks in the middle of August from the Perseus constellation, from which it draws its name. The Geminids, which occur in the month of December every year, radiate from the Gemini constellation. It is recommended when watching a meteor shower that you forgo the use of viewing aids, such as telescopes or binoculars. Ideally, the only thing you need are your eyes in a dark sky. The reason for this is because meteors can shoot across large areas of the sky, so using viewing aids can restrict your field of view. Some meteor showers can be strong enough to produce in the neighborhood of up to 100 streaks per hour, although it is not likely you will see that many. Almost everybody is under a light polluted sky. Now, you may be under the assumption to think that you're under a dark sky, but realistically, even in a small town, you can also have bright lights nearby. Planetariums, local astronomy clubs, or maps can help you to get away from an overabundance of light. The best conditions to view showers are clear skies with no moon or cloud cover. This is roughly sometime between midnight and the sunrise. Moonlight acts in the same manner as having excessive light, washing out light sources in the sky that may be more faint and will have an effect on visibility. Make sure to give yourself at least 30 minutes for your eyes to adjust to seeing in the dark and enjoy your stargazing. Thank you.